Well, things did not go as we had hoped last episode. They did, however, go about as expected. The good news is we do control our own destiny with today's Champions League match against Standard Liège. We're third in the table. A win would put us through the group stage, and that would be a huge accomplishment. Let's see if we can get it done. Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. Episode 60 of our Climbing the Ladder save. And after that beatdown, you know, we had we had not been in great form. We had had the four draws in a row and then the loss to Barcelona. We've actually rebounded a 4-3 win over Feyenoord, Anton Kernjik, Ronnie Ebers, Eugene Resnick, all with goals from the striker or up top positions. Melvin Gerber with a set piece for the winner. In the 85th minute, Fortuna Sitard, we took care of 4-1. to one. Alice Cervinka got a start in this one and gave us a brace. Jan DeVos got a start as well. He scored, and Resnick has scored yet again. We're starting to see him showing up a lot in the score sheet, and we'll talk about why that could be when we get to the match. Uh, Villem 2, a 4-2 victory, Resnick with a brace, Demir with a goal, and Ebers with a goal as he finally gets on the score sheet again for the first time in four matches. So today we're going to be playing standard, and then we'll come back for Dutch Cup highlights against Breda. So let's get to the match right now. Now, Dimitrovic is suspended today with... Uh, the yellow card that he got against Barcelona. So we are going with Kaiser in goal, Grizel, Gerver, and Kaisela on the back line. Kaisela is starting to draw some interest uh, for a pretty big move. He's valued at 7.75, uh, but there are some whispers that people are looking at him. And also, why is he not in? What's the deal? I just noticed he is not being put into the starting. I mean, he's played a lot, I guess, but he's our best center back by far. Why is he not in? I don't know, but we're going to we're going to rectify that right now. So he is right footed. Can Gerber Gerber's left. So let's play him out on the left side. I like that. So we're going to move Kurdov in there. So Gerber, Kurdov, and Kaisela in the back line. Serbinka, Momsilovic, Grutunk, and DeVos in the midfield. We're going to give Jazvich a start. Zlatko, Jazvich, Evers, and Resnick up top. So the AI, the, the assistant manager is trying to get Resnick in and moving Kernjik to the bench. If we take a look at his form, uh, unused substitute came on in the 63rd minute. Um, he did play a 7-7 against Fortuna with a goal and an assist, but you can see a little bit of inconsistency, uh, and we go back six or seven matches before he had two goals before that. So, struggling a little bit. I mean, he's playing a 7-1-2 in the Champions League with two goals, three goals and eight. It's not like he's playing horrible, but Ebers is just head and shoulders above either one of these guys. And Resnick, seven goals in 12 in the league. He's just in form right now. So that's what we're going to go with. So hopefully we can get, uh, get the win against Standard today. And this will be in front of our home fans. So we need to get it done here. If there's ever a time to step up and get a win, we need it here. All right, we get some pressure on them. There's a nice through ball. DeVos into the box. And it's crossed in, and it's Jazvich, his first goal of the season. Oh, he came to me and said, I really want to play some, boss. Give me a chance. I was able to blow him off, and he wasn't upset, but I decided to go with him, and oh, what a run by him. Oh, right up the middle. Just got on the back of LeMoyne for the goal. Oh, what a finish. And... He's going to be pushing for playing time 
plenty if he keeps doing that. Another thing I'm considering is dropping Kaiser. I think when we get in, especially cup matches, uh, you know, the Dutch Cup, I think we're going to go with uh, with our with our backup keeper. He's got more upside. He's just about there right now. So I think we're at a at a tipping point for him to come into the first team squad. I don't remember his name, but and there's Jasvich. Oh, he dropped it and the shot by Resnick trickles wide, but there was a fingertip by the keeper, so we will get the corner. And it makes it through the box and right now we would go up. Looks like Barcelona might be losing. Oh, that would be incredible. Cervenka. Oh, he loses it down at the touchline. And the counter's on. Samal up the right flank. Momsilovic tracking back. Oh, no. Good thing Kaiser saved that, but both of our center backs misplayed that. Oh, come on. Let's encourage them again. Keep going, boys. Please, please, let's get this done. How is, is Barca losing? No, they must be in a draw. I, f I forgot to look down at the scores. I feel so stupid. All right, Kaisela. DeVos. What a run by DeVos. He's into the box, and he tries to take this shot. Can't cut the angle. Probably should have done better there. And DeVos has pulled up injured, a lower leg injury. I hope that's not a broken leg. Hopefully it's just a bruised knee or pulled calf muscle or something. Um, we're going to have to move Jazvich over there. And you know what? I'm going to drop Resnick back and bring Kernjik on. I've had a talk with Kernjik about uh, his poor form needing to play better if he wants to stay in the first team. He assured me he wants to be in the first team. All right, um, let's go outstretched arms, happy with your performance, inspired and motivated. All right, let's encourage him again. Uh, I was looking to pause it real quick so we could look at scores there. Momsilovich. Kaisela. Crosses in. Oh, that should have been in. If Samal would have put that ball down at any angle at the near post, that would have been in the net. And Kaisela gets his first goal of the season off of a corner, and that makes it 2-0. Oh, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. There's a long way to go. They beat us 4-2 last time. Oh, the keeper, Boyson, got a hand on it but just too much power on the header. We've already made one sub. I've got to remember that. Momsilovic from right in the corner. Out to Cervenka. Oh, lumped forward. A flick on header. Evers is through, and he puts it wide. Oh, Ronnie. Oh, Ronnie. You could have pulled it all out there. Oh, it's all the way into the box. Clear. Oh, the header. Oh, my goodness. That was dangerous. Was not expecting that. A header from the edge of the box that was actually with enough force to get to the keeper on the line. Jasvich squared in. There's a scramble, and it's Kernjik. And he gets his sixth of the season. Oh, the sub pays off there. All right. 3-0. Let's go ahead and make another sub. So Cervenka was tired. Let's bring Baumgartner in for him. He has certainly played a good game today. Oh, that was a nice, nice goal. 3-0. Let's pause it here. I'm looking for... Oh, Barcelona's beating Besiktas 1-0. They had an injury, and they are a man down in the 54th minute when that happened. So, wait a minute. Oh, I am not happy. You mean even if we win this game, we're not going to qualify? Oh, come on, Besiktas. 
Oh, I am, I am, I am gutted right now. Did you guys notice that? I thought we were in if we beat standard. I thought it would put us above them. Oh, man. Oh, that's just crushing. Crushing. Oh, man. I, I don't even, I don't even know what to think now. All right. Uh, Kurdov, Gerber. Tell you what, let's bring Kaisela into the middle. And let's bring, let's bring Spans in to the central mid here. There he is. Oh, unmarked at the outside the box. Oh, what a save by Kaiser. He must have gotten wind that we were thinking about sitting him. But Schichtus is equalized in the 79th minute. We're back up into second. Oh my god. Nail biters. Nail biters. 91st minute. Stoppage time. I mean, we're going to win this. I have no doubt. But is Barca going to be able to pull it out? Or better yet, could Besiktas pull it out? All right, good defensive play there. Ebers tacks it back to Resnick. They're charging up. Kernjik's there. Laid off to Spans. Oh, there's a through ball. It's Kernjik, and he scored his second of the match, and that makes it to Gruff shot four nil. They are checking for an, disallowed. No, come on, that was a through ball. Ebers was offsides, but he didn't even... Oh, that's crap. He didn't even factor in. Barcelona has scored in the 90th minute. And Besiktas is equalized in the 91st. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Did Besiktas hold on? Good work out there. Oh, please, please, please. Yes, we're through. Yes. Oh, my God. Did anybody see this happening when we started Champions League? I did not. And we qualify for the first knockout round. Isn't this the playoff? I think this is the playoff. Yeah, so we've qualified. Oh, my goodness. All right, DeVos, three to four weeks with a pulled calf. All right, could be worse. Could be worse. We get $3 million for the win. Uh, let's see if he wants a rest. All right, and he said it will. Kaisela, four key headers defensively. Brilliant. Okay, now I need to kind of look forward. So when does that take place? I have no idea. Group stage. Oh, and then they want us to reach. Oh, we're champion. Hey, I, I don't know what the next stage is. I have no idea. All right. Well, we still owe you guys a highlight. We just brought in 775,000, which broke the 750 mark uh, just a couple of just last episode against Barcelona. But we are bringing in some serious money here. We're up to 54.2 million. That's got to be nice. All right. So what I had planned was a Dutch Cup second round highlights. Let me play Groningen off camera. We'll come back. We'll check that score. And then we'll have highlights against Breda unless I get some Champions League news. And then I'll come back early. All right, we are back for the draw for the first knockout round. We are not seated. <laughs> That's going to be bad. All right. Borussia. I mean, anything that we get here is probably going to be difficult as hell, right? I mean, look at this. Borussia and Real Madrid. Newcastle. Copenhagen. PSG. Standard. Ghent. Arsenal. Cardiff, Salzburg. And we are going to get Bayern Munich. <laughs> Only one of the top clubs in the world. Uh, 
at least we're at home. I, I'd rather, ha well, and th is this like a two leg? Is that what this is? So at least we'll first knockout round. Is this legs? First in the Bundesliga. All right, so let's see, schedule wise. Yes, so we do get the re away leg for money. That's important. All right, I'm not expecting a whole hell of a lot there. Uh, so that'll be next episode. We'll come back for uh, a Bayern double header. But uh, we do need to play this match. And it is not Breda, it is Nemegan, Nemegan, something of that sort. I don't know what NEC stands for. If you know, let me know in the comments. Just curious more than anything else. Because there's a, quite a few clubs that I have noticed that are called NEC. So, Kurdov is drawing a lot of attention. Now, we have transfer listed him, I think, because he wants to go, right? Actually, I don't see that. So, you know what? I am gonna, I'm going to remove him. So, you can see the clubs that are interested in him. Somebody's going to have to come with a lot of money. So he's valued at 24. I'm going to put 103 million. Actually, I'm going to put more than that. Let's go to 113. Oh, 113's all I can ask. Okay. Well, we'll put 113 on him. All right, coming back for the highlights against NEC in the Dutch Cup. We start off Demir with a beautiful crossover to Fournier, a low cross at that through a crowd, and Fournier puts us up 1-0. Kernjik finds Vanderhorst with a nice through ball to Vicario, who got the start in this one, and I loved seeing Vicario get a goal. It would be the 22nd minute. They would get the highlight. They would find Solace out in space. He was able to control it with no pressure and just beat Petrich. I don't think the keeper stood a chance there. 65th minute, Nagy gets it deflected. Chu, Chu Yoon, and <laughs> there was so much going on there. Kernjik laid it off to Momsilovic at the edge of the box, and he put it in. 3-1 victory, very, very solid. Uh, we've had an offer accepted on somebody, a young player. Uh, but if we take a look at competitions, we are now currently sixth in the league in the Arita VC. We're through to the first knockout stage against Bayern Munich. That's scary as hell. And of course, we are now into third round Dutch Cup action. I believe there's four rounds, and then you go to the quarterfinals, I think, is what I remember. And they want us to reach the quarters at a minimum. So uh, we will work on that. Next episode, I think we're going to go ahead and get down to Bayern Munich, and we'll do a Bayern, well, there's going to be a lot. I think I'll skip this Dutch Cup. We'll see what comes up in here, because we also have FA Cup, don't we? Oh, no, we're not in FA Cup. Other save. So, no, the Dutch Cup is important. Yeah, I think we'll come back. Uh, we've got to come back for the Cups, I suppose. So we'll come back for Utrecht highlights, Dutch Cup third round action uh, will be next episode. So we'll push Bayern off. Uh, and depending on Dutch Cup matches, we'll have to see. Let me know what you guys think about that. Of course, by the time you do, I'll probably have already recorded it. Hit the like button if you like what, what I'm doing here. Subscribe for daily football manager content. And I appreciate you guys coming by. We'll talk to you next episode. Take care. Bye.